Hey guys, how you doing? Today's just a quick tech tip video on how to get a little bit more response out of your 5BZ FE V6 petrol and 90 series Prado. All right guys, so the tools you're gonna need are a pair of pliers and two 14 mil spanners. So what are you gonna need for this one? So um, with this here, obviously these cables here, they are pretty uh, loose generally. I've done, I've tightened mine up, so obviously that one's going to be loose because I am doing some things at the moment, so. But yeah, all these here will be fairly loose. So what you want to do, you want to take the slack out of it. So when you accelerate or kick down, it's going to do that straight away for you. Instead of having a bit of a delay. And same with the cruise control, so. Um, yeah, all you do here, pretty much. Loosen off your lock nuts. Which are locked up opposite ways. Now you'll see that this will turn. This is why you need the pliers. So, have a pair of pliers on the end there, just a pair of ball nose pliers, or flat nose, whatever you want to call them. And you just back off or tighten up in this case. The more I back that off, the worse it'll get. So, what you'll do, you'll tighten that up. So, as you can see, it's going to take the slack out of that throttle. Um, these cables are pretty worn, so if you don't get a lot of adjustment out of it, it might just be worth uh, getting a new cable. So just take this little bit of slack out of it and then uh, tighten her up again. And again, you need to hold it once you've done that. Tighten her up. Something you can do at home in the driveway, which isn't a problem. Just tighten her up, get it to its tight. Just grab your other spanner here, just make sure it locks up properly. And done. So, as you can see, I've got like no play in that now. So, it's nice and tight. So it'll just be like instant throttle response as soon as you pull down the throttle. Um, same thing with the cruise control. Again, you want to take that slack out of it. So it still has a little bit. So we'll take that slack out. Make sure you don't lose your spanners. This one here, don't really need to hold it, but we need to wind that down just to pull that slack out. So once you've done that, Hopefully I'm not getting a whole lot of wind noise in this one. I should have put the wind sock on, but we'll be alright. People crashing around up the road, it's great. Fun things you do when you have to film from your driveway sometimes. Because you can't get your car out the back. Alright. And that's it for the cruise control side of things. Obviously, in the cruise control box you can pop that cover off too and adjust it in there so the lever's got no slack. I won't go into detail with that one because this is generally enough. Um, yeah, same with your kick down. Just adjust it so there's no slack in it. Um, start up, make sure it's not over revving. If it is, you need to back off the cables. So there you have it guys. Quick tech tip that will uh, give you a little bit more throttle response and make your cruise control actually kick in when you hit the set button and not back off a little bit and then pick up the speed back to where it should be. So don't have to move that cable so much. So if you enjoyed that video, give it a like and a thumbs up. Um, share it around with everyone. Get the knowledge out there and i'll see you guys in the next video happy wheeling